It's a different kind of state work being done at the state house. Crews have spent the last year in Trenton taking everything non historic out of the executive offices, investigating to find out the exact conditions of the building that dates back to 1792. Basically, everything top to bottom is being completely redone. Every, and even more than the bottom. We're going to underpin the foundations of this building. Raymond Arcario with the New Jersey Building Authority gave us a tour of the renovation and restoration work. Currently underway. Former Governor Chris Christie actually spearheaded the overhaul and got financing approved. At the time, he said the building was in dire need of enormous repairs. It impacts the health and safety of the people who work here and visit here. Arcario says the building is structurally sound, but there's years of extensive water damage, not to mention no building wide heating or AC system, leading to decades of piecemeal duct work and temporary units. This massive project has an estimated price tag of $283 million. The state says it is incredibly necessary and right now under budget. A lot of people in New Jersey are like, we need money for NJ Transit, we need money for other things as well. What would you say to people who say, you know, maybe this money could have been better spent elsewhere? This is what the funding for this project is going to be used for and it clearly is needed, but that is not to say that there are not other very worthy causes in the state. New Jersey taxpayers have mixed reactions. Take some of it and make repairs on the Building, but the majority of it should be spent on, on, on the general public, more or less. $300 million, that's a heavy price tag. Mm -hmm. But being a Stark building, they should do it. Right now, state officials say crews are on schedule with an estimated completion in 2022. In Trenton, Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News. And state officials expect crews to start full scale building in the state house in early 2019.